I've been asked this interesting question many times, so I thought I'd answer it today. What happens if you don't have sex for a whole year? Does it affect your sperm, your hormones, your sex drive? And most importantly, does it impact your fertility? Well, there is a medical term used for this situation called abstinence. Okay, so I'm going to explain the science behind abstinence, backed by research. Stick around till the end because some of these facts might shock you. Okay, so many people wonder, if I don't ejaculate for a long time, does my sperm go bad? The answer is, your body has a natural mechanism to deal with unused sperm. Studies show that sperm cells have a lifespan of about 74 days in the testes. If they are not released, they eventually break down and get reabsorbed into the body. But does this mean your sperm health improves or worsens? Well, a 2018 study published in Andrology found that short periods of abstinence, two to five days, actually improve sperm quality. However, longer abstinence over 10 days can lead to increased DNA fragmentation in sperm, which may reduce fertility. So, if you're planning for conception, moderation is key. Okay, so let's talk about how does it affect hormones. Testosterone is the main hormone responsible for male sexual function, but what happens when there's no sexual activity? Some studies suggest that prolonged abstinence might slightly lower testosterone levels, but the effect is not drastic. On the other hand, short-term abstinence, two to three days, can actually boost testosterone levels temporarily, making men feel more energetic and driven. One study from psychoneuroendocrinology found that men who abstained from ejaculation for seven days had a peak in testosterone levels on the seventh day, but then it gradually stabilized. So, does avoiding sex ruin your hormones? Short answer, no. But it can lead to some fluctuations in testosterone levels. Okay. Now, what happens to your sex drive? You might think that not having sex for a long time would completely kill your libido, but here's what actually happens. For some men, abstinence increases their sexual desire because their body keeps producing testosterone and sperm, creating a natural urge for release. For others, libido may decrease due to lower testosterone and a lack of sexual stimulation. This largely depends on your mindset, lifestyle, and overall health. So if you remain sexually active in other ways, such as through masturbation, your sex drive is likely to stay stable. Next, does it affect fertility? Okay. So if you're planning to have children in the future, does abstinence help or hurt your fertility? Well, short-term abstinence two to five days before trying to conceive can improve sperm count and motility. But long-term abstinence, weeks or months, can increase sperm damage and reduce sperm motility, making conception harder. However, your fertility doesn't just depend on ejaculation frequency. Your diet, exercise, and overall health play a much bigger role. Now, let's weigh the benefits and drawbacks. Benefits includes, it can improve focus and discipline, no risk of STDs, helps regulate dopamine levels, and prevents over-reliance on sexual pleasure. And the drawbacks. It may lower testosterone levels slightly. Sperm quality might decline after long periods of no ejaculation. And reduced sexual function over time if there's no sexual activity at all. So, should you avoid sex for a year? Science says it's not harmful, but it may have some effects on sperm health, hormones, and libido. If your goal is to maintain good reproductive health, balance is key. Too much or too little sexual activity can both have consequences. So, what do you think? Have you ever gone months or years without sex? Be honest. Let me know in the comments. How long have you stayed without sex? A week? A month? A year? I'd love to hear your experience.